Hey doodlers, we are gonna have some fun today. I actually just taught myself a new little trick and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this. And if somebody else has already taught you this, forgive me, um, maybe I'm repeating it, but I haven't seen it. So this is all new for me. So let me back up a bit and just, we'll bring you to doodly real quick. This is a little something I created to test it out. But as you know, when it comes to your text, okay, you've got, Doodly comes with a few built-in texts. I think it was three, and then I did show you a video, and I'm sure other people have as well, where you can bring your own in, and you can have fun, you know, even with some of the texts that you bring in yourself. I mean, you can, you know, come up with different fonts here. You can certainly change the color, as you know, okay? And, uh, you know, you can, you know, always alter your animation time, your draw time, you can invert them, you can change the font size and all of that, the opacity, everything, okay? And that can certainly add some fun to your text. But what if you wanna do stuff like, you know, what if you wanna round the letters or squeeze them or, or stuff like that, you know, create more artistic effects? Well, as you know, Doodly works with SVGs and you can find all kinds of really cool text-based SVGs out there but maybe there's something you wanna make on your own, okay? Or maybe you are on a tight budget and you can't buy anything right now or you aren't sure where to look to get free text-based designs. Maybe there's something specifically you wanna put in your video. So that's why I am actually very excited to show you what I have figured out. So we're gonna use a website today called photop.com and it's a totally free program. I am using it on Windows 10. I'm not sure, I think it'll work on any program, on any um, internet type program, whether it's Windows or Mac or whatever. Um, you will see here, I do have to have the ads enabled because while Photo P is free, they do run on ads. So it'll stay in the corner, it's not gonna bother you. But if you do have an ad blocker, you probably won't be able to use this unless you disable the ads, um, the ad blocker on this website. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna hit new project. Okay, and I'm gonna title this project, I'll just call it Wicked Cool Text. And if you can remember to do this in the beginning, go ahead and name it here. It'll make it much easier for you to find it later. Okay, I am going to use a square-based uh, design platform now. I, I, that's just what I usually do and then I can always go and change things later on. However, if you want to keep it for, um, if you want to keep it for like the doodly um, default size, I believe they are actually a 1280 by 720. Actually, we'll just go ahead and do that. 1280 by 720. That is a YouTube thumbnail size. Okay. We're going to get out of the symbols. And while I am able to do this here, which they do allow you to do it in the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and change this to a 300. DPI. You don't have to do that. Um, I'm, I'm doing it, but you certainly don't have to do that. Okay. And actually, you know what? I'm going to double back and I'm going to just go ahead and change it to the default. We'll just go, I'll make it a 96. How about that? You don't have to have a 300 DPI necessarily on Doodly. It's good for print, but, um, and I'm going to change this to a transparent background in case you want to change the background of your video or in case you decide you want to take the same thing and turn it into a design. It's always good to have it on a transparent background. Okay. But FYI, if you're going to turn this into a design, I'd go ahead and do the 300 DPI here. And we're going to create. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go, as you can see, there's plenty of tools you can use here. Okay. But today we're just going to focus on the text. All right, so we're gonna hit text, and what I'm gonna do right from the beginning, I'm gonna make the size bigger, so you can do that. And it always starts with the default Deja Vu Sans um, font. So we'll just go ahead, we'll start with that. Okay, and as you can see, it loaded it. You might need to click it a couple times. I'm just gonna start typing. Wick, wicked. Okay, now what you would do Ever you want to start manipulating this text, whether you want to move it or change the font or whatever, you need to make sure it's highlighted, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And we will use, I don't know, we'll just use something maybe a little bit more artistic. So how about we'll go with the Flux Architect, okay? 
And as you can see here, my cursor has this four points to it. If it has the four points to it, that means you can go ahead and start to move this around. Okay. There we go. All right. And I'm going to accept that. So now we're going to grab another text here. So you would just hit text again and start a new line anywhere. It's going to show up as the same size and font that you were using before, but you can always go in like I am going to do and you can change that out. Okay. And as you can see, you can preview them all here. So we'll go with major snafu. All right. And cool, wicked. No, I didn't mean to do that. Make sure, make sure you're out of here. There we go. Wicked, cool. All right. We'll highlight that. Maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger. We'll move it around. There we go. And we'll accept that. Okay, it's okay. I'm not totally in love with this font, but you get the idea. All right, and one more. Wicked cool text. Okay. I think major snafu was a snafu. Actually, it's perfectly fine. I'm just not thrilled with it for this design. It's a nice text though. Maybe we'll go with Rothenberg Gecko. Or maybe we won't. I think it's really cool, but I think it's really hard to read that T. And maybe we'll just choose, I don't know. Here, let's go with Sophia. Okay. And we'll move that. Wicked cool text. Okay. Maybe we'll make that a little bit larger. Okay. And we'll accept that. But what I'm going to do here, actually, like I said, this can be, it, it, this can be a touch temperamental at times, but I think for a free program, I think it's great. You'll just have to have a little bit of patience with it. Okay. So I'm going to move that over. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. All right. And now I'm going to warp it. Warp it, it warping it is what makes it so that it has those funky like design effects. Okay. So as you can see here, and you'll see it even better when this box is out of the way. Okay. But as you can see what it did here, all right? So it created a bulge in the middle and it gives you the opportunity. You can like decrease the bend. You can create, you know, distortions, whether it's, you know, horizontal distortion or vertical distortion. Okay, you can do something like that. You hit okay, all right? And then accept it, go to cool. And I'm just, I'm going to have to change this font. It's, there's nothing wrong with the font. It's just, I don't like it <laughs> next to, um, I don't I don't like it with what I was doing. Maybe we'll just go with Newman. Okay. And guys, if I wasn't doing a video tutorial here, then I could probably spend the good part of today changing out the fonts. However, I'm not going to. So in this case, let's just say I want to change the color of it. Okay, so obviously the default is black. Maybe I want to make it, you know, like a red color. Okay, and let's just say you, I made it this color and I'm like, oh, I really love this color. You would just, you know, you would just copy and then you'd put it into the next text that you would apply it to. Okay, we're just going to hit okay. And if you wanted to here, let's see. Yep, you can can change the size of it. You can extend it. All right. All kinds of cool things you can do here. Okay. You can underline it. 
if you want to undo something, if you see it's like kind of shadowed here, that would undo it. All right. That'll make it capital, all, all capitals. All right. That'll italicize it. I think that bolds it. Okay. Just, just for you to know. All right. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to move it around a little bit. Wicked. Cool. Okay, we'll accept that. And then we'll come in here. Actually. Okay. And we'll move that. Maybe I'll warp that as well. Maybe I'll change the bend. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Make it smaller. This is why I usually work with a square. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll just do that. Wicked. Wicked. Cool. I'm going to get that underline out of there because it's kind of getting in the way. All right. Text. I'm going to move that around. Make that maybe a little smaller. Okay, and there you have it, all right? So, like I said, I could, I could spend all day creating a design out of this, but to refrain from making this into a 20 minute long video, all right, what we're gonna do is we'll just assume this is our design here, and we'll hit File, we'll export it as, I always, if you design something and you happen to love it, I always suggest go ahead and save it in a few different formats. Save it as a PNG, save it as a JPEG. You can, I don't know how this would work as a GIF, but have fun with it. <laughs> but in this case, we're gonna save it as an SVG, okay? Now, as you can see here, it kind of went back to normal text, okay? The reason is because you need to have that clicked. Okay, so if you have this clicked, then it will go ahead and save it as your vector. All you want to do here is save it. Okay, and if we go to Doodly, and I were to, actually, let's, let's make this easier. So you don't have to preview a whole long thing. Oops. Okay, so we're going to bring it as a prop because now it's an SVG. It's no longer just text. It's a prop. So we'll bring in our wicked cool text, which are not that wicked or cool, but <laughs> you know, for the sake of the video. But if you wanted to do something really cool with your text and have it drawn in and warp them and color them and, and all that cool stuff, because I don't know that this is an effect here that you can get with Doodly. Same thing with this, okay? Maybe at some point they will. Um, but I just don't think that, I don't think they have that now. As you can see, it changed it. Okay, so we're going to save and return. All right, and maybe we'll extend this to about 10 seconds just so you can see it get drawn out. And then hit save. And preview. There you have it. All right. So guys, just to recap, okay, if you want to create like some really cool text effects that, um, that are more artistic, a little more creative, and you want to be able to have them drawn out in Doodly, 
All right, you can go to Photopea, you can create that text, save it as the SVG. That's what I did with this one here. Okay, and again, it's not my favorite design. Again, I was just playing, but it totally worked. All right, I've already uploaded these. And, and just in case you aren't aware, I, I did do a video on this, but if you wanna take an SVG that you have uploaded and create the drop, make sure that the drop paths are in there, you would hit that. You would hit load SVG paths, and then you would save and return. In this case, I've already done it, okay? So we'll save that. All right. But there you go. I mean, that's, that's that cool rounded. It was three seconds long, but there you have it, okay? So that's how you can create like some really wicked cool text effects and have them drawn out in your doodly videos. It might be really cool for branding or it just, you know, might make your video pop out a little bit more. I do hope that you guys found this helpful. And if you have, you know, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I do have uh, a playlist on my channel, you know, with all kinds of different little doodly tutorials, things that I have uh, learned my learned on my own and I hope you find them useful. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like stuff like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You can like this video, maybe share it with other people that you think would find this helpful. And I do have an entire playlist filled with little doodly tutorials that I have created over, over time, just of things that I've learned. So this did turn out to be close to a 20 minute video after all. However, I hope it's filled with stuff that you guys can use, all right? Have a great rest of your weekend, and until next time, take care.